Well, I first met uh, Raymond Chow. I knew him, and he asked me to, if I wanted to be in a movie with Bruce Lee, and I had never heard of him. But I told him, well, why not? I haven't done that before. So uh, he said, all right, we'll have a car pick you up at 8 o'clock the next morning. And when we got to the studios, I would shot the first shot within about 10 minutes. So it was fast and furious. Well, Bruce was very specific but the, uh, in how we played each scene but everything was kind of written as it went. There's no actual script and uh, storyline other than very basically. <laughs> I think Bruce uh, brought in some, some techniques, but it was still very basic. Films were shot in 16 millimeter with no sound. Everything was dubbed afterwards. I mean, even my, my voice was done by some 18 year old kid. And uh, uh, everybody says I sound like an 18 year old at the time in the film. But uh, it, it was still very basic at that time, and, and I'm not really sure when they started even shooting in 35 millimeter. Kung Fu. Up to uh, today, well, I'd say yesterday, but every day for the last 27 years, people have uh, come up to me and either said Lee Si Lung or Kung Fu, because I said Kung Fu in the movie at one point, and so I was given the nickname Kung Fu. And, uh, for years, everybody calls me Kung Fu. Even on the MTR uh, day before yesterday. <laughs> well, watching uh, Bruce, he was, I was with him for about two weeks and uh, it was a lot of fun to work with. So the most impressive thing I think I saw was when he, two things. One, he fell down on his one finger and started doing push-ups from a standing start. And uh, he did love to show off. I mean, he was. He was good and he knew it. And uh, the other thing was when he kicked out the light from a standing start, kicked out a light bulb about seven feet up in the air. I was sitting in the chair in the office when he, uh, Bruce pushed me and he said, I don't want to hurt you, so I won't. And the first time he pushed, he pushed so hard, he, the whole chair went over. <laughs> and so they had to put one guy behind the chair to hold it up for the next time. But he didn't really hurt me. <laughs> Bruce, when, uh, when he was rehearsing, and he acted most more like an American. I mean, he was very San Francisco street smart. He was joking all the time. He had a lot of fun. We all had a lot of fun. Doing it. I remember the first time I was just standing there kind of staring off into space with a cigar in my mouth. And the first time uh, he kicked out my, the ash in my cigar. And I did, I did, the cigar itself did not move at all, but the ash was not there. And when I first saw the, I uh, went to the premiere, and I was kind of embarrassed, to tell you the truth. But uh, it was it was fun. It was interesting. I mean, see yourself in the big screen. It's uh, it's kind of a kick. I enjoyed it. Well, the most uh, memorable thing I remember about Bruce, other than the fact that it was just enjoyable working with him, was one day he says. John, I won't make you rich, but I'll make you famous. And that was true. He didn't pay me a thing. 